When Dr. Edith Serum received her coronavirus vaccine at the Nairobi hospital where she works, nurses joked she might start speaking a foreign language. I told everybody who I was working with that I had gotten the vaccine and of course you get these um, comments. Some got the AstraZeneca shot after watching her closely for side effects. Others in the Kenyan capital are still refusing. Africa has already had to battle to secure a relatively small number of COVID-19 vaccines. Now health experts fear so-called vaccine hesitancy is slowing rollouts across the continent. There's lots of people who are still holding out on the vaccine. Um, quite a number of people are still waiting for something to show up. A lot of people are still very apprehensive about the side effects. Vaccine hesitancy is a global phenomenon. France and the United States are struggling with it. Skepticism is on the rise in some Asian countries, such as Japan. In Africa, health experts say a combination of warnings about possible rare blood clots from the AstraZeneca shot, the rubbishing of vaccines by some leaders, and mixed messages over expiry dates have all contributed. The World Health Organization and Africa CDC have repeatedly advised that the benefits of the AstraZeneca vaccine outweigh the risk. Nevertheless, the rollouts in some countries have been slow. Take Kenya as an example. The government began vaccinating 400,000 frontline health staff and other essential workers in early March, with more than a million AstraZeneca vaccines it had received. By April 25th, according to the health ministry data, only 152,700 health workers had been inoculated. Chika Fo is the founder of the Vaccine Network for Disease Control Advocacy Group in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. Unfortunately, immediately they started distributing the vaccines. This whole story of um, blood clots and all sorts of things came up concerning the vaccines. And then to make it even worse, countries like UK, Germany and France now decided to halt, you know, the use of the vaccines, that the AstraZeneca, Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. So that now gave us a lot of problem. That behavior in itself caused a lot of problem in Nigeria. The continent's most populous nation, Nigeria, received nearly 4 million AstraZeneca shots on March 2nd. By April 23rd, just over 1.15 million doses had been administered. At that pace, it will take nearly a decade to vaccinate Nigeria's adult population and until mid-August to use those doses from its first consignment. The shorts will expire on July 9th, a government official said.